Alright y'all, welcome back to JJV Homestead Study. Man, I finally have some homestead and stuff that's going on around here. I finally bought the materials I needed. The lumber and the roof sheeting for uh, the little shed I'm going to start building. This is going to be a, like a little barn. I'm going to build one side of it first and then... One side of it first, then build the other side next. I just need somewhere to start storing stuff. So it's just gonna be, it's actually gonna be very close to the shape of my chicken coop. For the first thing, I'm just gonna build one slanted side and then we'll come back and build the other slanted side later. Make a little pole barn out of it. And uh, right now it's just gonna be a storage. I was trying to till some stuff. Man, I got off yesterday early and today early and I've been fortunate some people are coming back to work but both days I've been boy I've been running into some crap let me tell you these Mahindras I, I don't mind my tractor but if you don't have a little welder or the wherewithal these things are a pain in the neck they rattle everything apart it rattles that muffler off it rattles till it breaks this arm that holds the alternate on and if that comes off, that belt blows, it doesn't turn. And then your water pump won't turn and you overheat. Then it rattles so much. Look, rattled the brackets that hold the hood on. So I gotta put that, I'm gonna have to fix that some way. These things, the vibration of the motors, and I read about this, rattles it so bad that it just beats the snot out of it. <laughs> I don't know, man. So unless you have uh, a quick, uh, like a uh, real generator, a little uh, welding machine, do some quick repairs, I don't know, man, I'd get a different model. This thing rattles itself apart. Did the same thing, the, the bucket, I had to, the bucket came apart. So uh, I'm starting to, trying to get some seed starts done over here so my walnut trees i'm gonna give walnut trees a try this deep in the south and see i don't know but uh i had two jalapeno pepper plants it looks like so far one of them has made it uh one of my pineapples went to kaput this one that one's still good and i think this one might still be alive i'm not sure but uh the other day i was I'm starting seeds in here. Yeah, they got a few little, that's not stuff I want right there. But uh, I put these in here and they came up. And I started right before I went on a trip to go see my daughter. And they got a mouse got in here. And every seed start that came up, that mouse would come and clip it. So I put a little, you can see it's been eating on that, that right there. Well, uh, that's going to solve that mouse problem. So I'll put some new seed starts. I had to start a couple new trays. I got a water today yet. It gets warm in here during the day. Right here is 83 degrees on the overcast there. I did manage to save some of the some of the uh super sweets. I was glad that was the last one. But you can see how the mouse came on and clipped all the tops of them. See how they all clipped off? They sprouted up. And the mouse clipped them off. Now the bell peppers hadn't come up yet so still got this old that's just I, I guess I get some of this from so, see how that's all clipped off right there that sucks all of these came up nice and pretty so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna start a new tray these these should start coming up any day now they should if I look close, I might even be able to see. They even had a mouse got into this one. There's a little mouse turds right there. So that's why I had to put it up on here. So they digging it up and eating the seeds. So them little suckers. Anyway, I'm going to come back here and water in a little bit. That needs a little, needs a little wet. So, oh. I ain't planting potatoes yet, but I am going to plant potatoes some today. I got the purple ones 
I got the purple ones here. You can see they starting to chit. Chit. And these are, I think, I think these are some Kennebecs I had. I'm not 100% sure. They might be just Yukon Gold, so I don't know. Now these are the Kennebecs and maybe a Anyway, here's the red ones. They started sprouting in the in the uh, refrigerator on their own, but you can see that. Then this is the raised bed. Well, I got some more in here. That's these are definitely Yukon Gold right there on the top. So they started. Uh, these right here, some Yukon Gold. I'm gonna be planting those too. So what I'm gonna do today? What I'm gonna do today? I'm gonna try and plant in the raised bed. I was trying to get some more ground tilt too to plant potatoes in the ground. It's uh, February 22nd, so I'm not far off the mark. February what, 16, 14, 15, 16 is usually the potato plant day. Well, it's been wet and I could. These are some of the things going on. The deer got right into the nose of this and ate out of this garden. Ate on our beets. But these are some of the beets that survived the freeze in the winter. So they're doing all right. Some of the peas are doing great. These are beets that survived the freeze and a worm infestation. I don't know if that's going to make it, but I'm going to put it in there. It wasn't. So anyway, we'll see what happens. These beets took a hammering, but look, those uh, those uh, peas are doing all right. They're growing fine. Onion, it's a green onion. Here's some yellow onions. I think these are, I forget what they call. I got them from NE Seeds. But anyway, the peas are doing well. Onions right here, these are the red onions. They're doing well. Peas in the back doing great. Peas and some more green onions. Got some ants right there. And this is some peas and some corms from elephant garlic that are growing. That's good. This is where I'm gonna put the potatoes. Hopefully later on today I'll get them all planted in there. More peas. Doing well. They're doing really good. They're growing well. And uh, here's some more peas. I'm gonna use it. They, they got some onions in here with these peas. A few. That's some seeded onions I, I grew from seed. And uh, more ant problems right there. But uh, the peas are looking good. Here's some more. These are Georgia Boy onions. And they're really starting to come into their own now. It's warming up. Peas are doing well. It's really warming up, man. We've been having some really warm weather. Kind of these elephant garlic. For the first year, I didn't do too well on them. That freeze, and I think the way I fertilize them hurt them. So I still got some in there. I replanted some bulbs. I'm gonna dig up in there. We're gonna see what happens. It should be all right. I should. I still. I'm still gonna have some, but you know, it ain't the it ain't the bumper crop I was hoping for, but it's still gonna be okay. That's the way things go. It's not always a super wind. Just just right here is an okay survived it. And uh the oregano's coming back right there. A little bit more over here. The cilantro started going to Bolton. I uh, hear my deer feet are going off over there. Uh some more green onions, some more cilantro right there in tarragon. Uh, I bet you, I wouldn't doubt that some dill starts coming up in here because I had dill growing in here last year. And uh, a lot of it went to seeds, so did a lot of cilantro. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, good stuff going on right here. Is your feet over there? That just went off. I ain't letting the roosters out no more. They give my hens too much. I mean, it's too it's it's frightful what they do to them hens. So I don't do that no more. I mean, I know that's what nature is, but <laughs> every day I got six 
roosters and 11 hens now that's because one of them got a gimpy push she don't even come out i have to baby her but the other one all they do is spend their whole day running from the roosters i mean i'm serious all day long running from the roosters and their backs are all torn up and it's just uh, 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 uh. There ain't no way for an animal to have to run for its life the whole time it's out so the, the hens are out right now the roosters are up i'm gonna end up having to take some of them roosters out it's just i gotta get to the time where i can deal with some some meat anyway i've been tilling this up for the past i don't know week i think i only hit it three times i gotta finish today i had to I ran out of gas and plus that bracket cracked so i had to weld it back on so i'm dealing with that and it's still sloppy we we had it's not rained in a few days but it's still so sloppy i got stuck the other day over here good thing a partner of mine was here to help pull me out well i gotta pick that chain up it's still on the ground yeah see them six roosters in there yeah they think they're gonna get let out nah -uh. they ain't no now so that's why I got stuck yesterday. Boy, that was a mess. So, I'm going to come on over here. Oh, look, I want to show y'all, too. While I'm out here, the citrus trees are starting to make their return. They lost all their leaves, but you see, now they starting to put back. This is a lemon tree, so that's nice to see that it's coming back alive. You can see where the branches died off up here from the freeze die back to about right there so I'll cut it back to about right here up in there I'm gonna come cut them but uh yeah so but look uh one some of my blueberries already have flowers on them but these are just starting to put them out see that but the ones on the other side of the property they got flowers already and that's what we in February keep hearing something back there this is where I'm gonna put that little shed that I was building I was moving some dirt from one part of the property over there and uh to try and level this out this is on a slope right here so I'm trying to build this area up so that I can uh kind of level it out and then I'm gonna bring limestone in as a pad and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the slant up you can kind of see I'm gonna Put this land up going that way like that and then i'm gonna put another one later on coming this way and i'll be able to drive in but for right now i'm just gonna store stuff underneath this one lean to area like that so yeah but it, you know with a little small track that it just just a little bit amount of dirt that's a that's a chore but i got it done main guard and i got some work to do on here i'm putting new posts up i'm gonna get to that but you know situations are how they are got to do what you can do while you got some daylight i've been doing a lot at night too it's kind of a lot of work but i started tilling this and uh, i got a couple tills one till on this one good full till on this and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna till it a few times corn's gonna go here this year in the other garden the new garden it's gonna be uh potatoes tomatoes it's gonna be all the other stuff but this is gonna be a corn garden this year i'm gonna plant all corn in here so uh, but see right here this post i put in there it's still a little the ground is still a little sloppy so i'm waiting for it to set up that'll harden up that's that's uh clay down there but it's been so sloppy it ain't had a chance to harden up once it hardens up it'll turn into almost like cement it's gonna be like cement and the post I had in there before, I had cement on it, but it rotted right above the cement and cracked and fell. Don't ever use those landscape timbers, this post. I thought I was being smart. And see, you can see how sloppy it is when you're riding a tractor. It tears everything up. So uh, what I had done over here, I'm going to show you all real quick. And then I'm going to wrap this up. Let's look at them deer tracks all up in there. They had about 15 deer in them. Look, them doves are going to eat the corn right now. Got a lot of doves. But they had about 15 deer right there last night when I came out. 
deer is everywhere. So I was coming through here, and what I'm doing is I'm just, this is gonna be where I put the pond one day. And this is some hard dirt up in here, some hard clay dirt. And I put the tiller down, and I kind of tilled it up a little bit. But if you put that thing in low, you can dig down into some of that clay. And I'm pulling, see I tilled all the way up to over there, you can't really see I bet. But I did, and I'm scraping off this little top layer right here. Because this is all going to be a part of a pond one day. This whole thing right here. The plan on putting the pond coming through all the way right here. All the way over there to over there. Anyway, that's a that's a dream right now because I got so much other stuff. I'm, my daughter is 17 years old, graduating high school this year. She goes on an online program. And uh, the online university that she studies at is having their, there's some doves, is having their commencements in uh, Anaheim, California. I never thought in my life I'd ever step foot in California. But I'm going to go ahead so she can walk on the stage and get her, get her diploma. They also have in there a little prom, so we're going to let her go to the prom. But we're going to go to uh, Anaheim, California for her for her commencement. And she loves that movie, The Office. And the guy that's speaking for the uh, keynote is the guy that played, uh, <laughs> what, uh, the, the Michael Scott's boss? What was that guy's name? His name is Andy something, Andrew something. Not Andy on the office, but his name is Andy. He's a, he's a uh, fun manager in real life. Uh, he just did a little acting. And uh, what was his name on the office? I forgot what it was. It was, I don't know. Anyway, Michael's boss. Not his, like the guy who run, the general manager does the miss one. Oh, what was his name? I don't know. I, he got fired and his son and him made the song, the, the band called Suck It. <laughs> I always liked that too. So many people you want to tell that to in life. Anyway, that's it. Baited around. So y'all can see what's going on at the homestead. Oh, I also baited the bees, so I don't know what they're going to do. I'm hoping to catch more bees this year. I got my guy back who went out on uh, leave half a year ago for a stroke. He's back at work. He's working like a champ. He's back in full steam. So I'm starting to get some time. Yeehaw, you know. Woo. I might actually be able to homestead again. Or, or start studying homestead, as I should say. Because I'm still a homestead study. I'm not a homesteader, but I'm learning it. And I'm learning a lot. So I'll talk to y'all later. y'all all right y'all i've been working on this plot for a while y'all can see it's tilled so that's good took me a while to get to this point uh <laughs> i have to take the fence down oh i'm gonna kill all these roosters that ain't no joke um i did get one row of potatoes planted over here and uh that was uh, the main goal to get that done and I'm gonna start tilling up again. I got a few more potatoes to get down and uh, I got plenty of them in the raised beds over there too. So I've been working, it's just I don't have time to record so much. Time is still very limited but I've been getting a little bit more of it so I can garden again. Hopefully, I'm also trying to hatch out some more chicken eggs in anticipation of trying to sell start selling eggs you know just my whole goal is to transition over to doing farming to self-sustain and to get out of that work I swear I swear I'm about to kill him I, I finally let the hens out with them and they are just going plum dumb crazy anyway what I'm getting ready to do right here is I'm getting ready to put out some lime some pelletized lime I just have to rip it open. 
but uh this is to help bring the ph of the ground up you want to uh you want to raise it a little bit we have a more acidic ground over here and uh it, it just liming the ground they call it making it, it makes it sweeter but what it what it does is it brings the pH, ph up bring makes it more basic and uh it helps with, with uptake of other fertilizers. I tried to grow corn right here last year, and if y'all go back and look at those videos, it didn't do well. I got very little return. And I have grown in this area before and did pretty well, but I manipulated it. And then they had an old trellis over there that had the ground kind of better. But in this area, general area, it was horrible. And I'm fighting this big oak tree right here, which is gonna be sapping a lot of nutrients from the ground. But I've done chopped up a lot of the roots in there, so the roots kind of stop right here coming this way. As far as I can go down with the tiller, it ate them up. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to go ahead and line it. And this year, the corn is going to be way over there in the main garden, I call it. This is the uh, new garden. This is about twice the size of the main garden. Now I guess I should stop calling it the main garden. Huh? I don't know. That's just what I always called it. But anyway, just to rotate things out this year, it's going to be potatoes over there. Then I'm going to start growing some... I'm going to put a few in-ground tomatoes in here this year to see how they do. I, I'm going to be doing raised beds. I, I still have a lot of canned tomatoes, so I don't really have to go for super-duper amounts of, uh, uh, of tomatoes. Am I saying tomatoes? I hope I was. Potatoes and tomatoes. Anyway, uh... I'm going to try and do a few other things, some bell peppers, other kind of peppers, uh, maybe a little squash or something like that, cucumbers for sure. Just going to see what I can put here, see what I have the time for. All right, y'all, I'm going to get to doing this. This is, I, I was trying to get my other camera to, oh, this is so cool. that's what that line looks like. I don't even smell it has a sweet smell to it. Alright. That little hole ain't doing it. Now lime adds uh, a bit of calcium to your soil. So it uh it also helps with calcium loving. But it's not really a fertilizer. There you go. I see it's got a lot of calciums in it and all of that. So if y'all can see that. Alright. I'm going to get to spreading this out. I mean it's just barely just taking it in your hand and spreading it. This stuff's pretty cheap. Right now it's pretty cheap, so we use it. We used to use it about a hundred pounds on food plots and stuff like that for for planting food plots for deer. But uh, we don't do that really too much anymore. But I'm gonna use it on here. All right. Y'all. This is another. You see how I used the uh, that, that's a uh, lime granulated lime in there, but this is the ready to use stuff. This is some old stuff I had here. Um, it kind of got a little hard, but it breaks up into a powder. Yeah, you just got to break it up. So, in its powderized form, it's ready to use right away. So it's ready to uptake into the soil. And I'll put some of this in my raised beds right here. But I got a few bags of this stuff around here. That's some old, old, old stuff I have. But, uh, that's lime that's ready to use. That's granulated pellets take a while to use. So, just wanted to show you all that. This old stuff like this. See, it's phosphate, lime, iron, magnesium, manganese, and, uh, micronutrients. So, anyway, uh, Yeah, 75 to 100 pounds per 1,000 square feet, whatever. Uh, it, it really depends on your pH of your soil. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, this stuff goes a, a long way in raised beds, but in the ground, this is stuff, uh, it's powder. It's like graphite almost. Uh, it's, it's ready to use as soon as it hits the dirt. You don't want to breathe it in either. I got to kind of chop it up a little bit, beat it up. It got a little wet. Humidity got to it. But anyway, those are the two different forms of lime. You have the pelletized stuff, which is this. Pelletized lime. See? Oops, oops, it's spilling out. See, it's pelletized. And that's his uh, powder. All right. So I think it's in there. I haven't lifted it up yet, but I can see one running. <laughs> so we have the first chicky chick hatched out. Let's see. That well, looks like two of them. So that other one just hatched out, so I'm gonna let her let her tweet tweet around for a while. They good in there. Anything in here? No, I didn't see any pippin. Let's see. Any pippin? I don't see any eggs moving. It's okay though. Put a little bit more water, I believe. Nope, nope, nope. That ain't look like it's kind of bulging now. <laughs> that means anything. I don't see any pippin. Let's go that way, and this one right here. Two of the big eggs, that's two of the big ones that I like. And that one's pipping. Anything else? That one's pipping. No, no, that's not the big eggs. That might have been a big egg. These are the two big eggs. Three big eggs. I don't see any pipping going on there. I'm gonna take these old eggshells out. That, uh, that one's pipping though. Alright, y'all stay in there. Keep cozy. Alright. Chicks are coming out. <laughs> this is day 21. Alright.